These two notifier and simplex pulsations might look like nothing special to you guys, but to me they are two new awesome devices I have in my collection. Let's take a closer look at them and see why I love them so much. Let's start with the Simplex Pull Station. It is a Simplex 4251-30 and was produced in the 21st week of 1980. Looking at the front, it has the classic fire alarm pull down lettering in addition to the old Simplex logo. This model has brake glass, but we'll get to that later. Looking at the sides, it just looks like your standard Simplex T-bar. Looking at the back, it has four screw terminals and is a conventional pull station. Opening up the pull station with a Simplex B key, turning counterclockwise, we see the spec sheet. It was produced on the 21st week of 1980 and is a type 4251-30. Here is the UL listed sticker. And this is the mechanism that holds the brake glass in place. You can also see that I wrote the model number down there and that there is a beam with two screws holding the pull to the hinge, which is a very nice design as this pull station looks and feels very durable. Now this is what it looks like with the brake glass. In order to pull the pull station, you lift the hammer up and smash it down to break the glass. Lift the hammer and pull down. There is a pin that the glass pushes up against and that locks the glass in place. This is to prevent the glass from falling out of the pull station. Overall, there isn't really anything negative I would say about this pull station. The only main issue is that the lock is a little bit stiff, but that can be fixed with lock lubricant. This is one of my favorite simplex pull stations simply because of the rarity of it. I also got a notifier pull station, so let's move on to see what that is. This is the notifier tab pull station. It is an MPS950B. It is also a lot slimmer and boxier looking than the 4251-30. Opening it up, we see the UL listed sticker and the button. This is the tab that holds the pull station in place. The station has a piece of metal that slides behind the tab, and the tab is what holds the station closed. To reset it, you place a small screwdriver in this hole and pull up. The thing I really like about this pull station is that it is super slim. It is about half the thickness of the 4251-30 and the screw terminals are way smaller, which means you don't need a super deep back box, which is a plus. Overall, there isn't really negative things I have to say about this pull station. The only things that really bug me is that it's a little bit hard to pull. It also is very blatantly obvious when someone has pulled it, because you can't reset it without a screwdriver, you'll just see the pull station's handle hanging down, so it is blatantly obvious that someone pulled it, making it easier to detect false alarms. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Simplex 4251-30 and Notifier MPS-950B. Stay tuned as I hope to get another Fire Alarm Friday out next week about my entire collection. So, be sure to subscribe and like the video and comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching. Also join my Discord server, link in the description.